So in the last example, we explored how the rule of 72 works out. And it's quite amazing, and we'll explain more about why it works in a little bit. Uh, but right now, I just want to show you what it would look like if you were to go using brute force. In other words, use it step by step. So let's give you an interest rate. The interest is 18%. And let's say your principal, that's the amount you're investing, is $100. The question is, how long would it take to double that money, right, to double it? So what do we do? Well, our compound interest formula, let's say um, the amount of money you're getting is a function of how much time has passed. So A of T, it equals the principal that you start with times one plus your, plus your interest rate, so 0.18. And that's gonna happen every year for some amount of years. This is once a year, you get 18%. And you want to know how many years it's going to take. So at the end of the first year, this is the amount of money you're going to have. Let's figure that out. It's going to be 100 times 1 plus 0.18. And that's happening once in the year. So you have $118. Right? That makes sense. You're adding 18% to 100. So that's $118. Now, we're not doubled yet. We're only at 118. And we want to keep going. So that's after the first year, and I should write in general, you know, let me do a better job here. In general, it, this is the formula that we're following, but for this first year, we're plugging in one for T, for time, for years. So it's just this formula that we just did. Now before we go any further, let's use our rule of 72 to predict what we're going to find. 72 divided by 18 is 4, so we should find that it's after 4 years, or it takes 4 years of this to work out. So I'll do for two years now just to kind of see what's going to happen. I'm going to do this process again. So that was one years and then we're going to multiply that by another whatever that number is, this value is 118. We're going to multiply that by another 1.18 or in other words we're going to add another 18% uh, so 1 plus 0.18 like that. And then this is going to keep going. For the third year you can see it starts to get a little redundant to write it out it's going to be 100 times 1 plus 0.18 for the first year, then the second year and third year. Instead of writing out it out three times, you can just put a little exponent up here to indicate that there are three of them. And then, as you probably guessed, for the fourth year, it's going to be 100 times 1 plus 0 0.18 to the fourth. And that should be close to 200, which we'll see in a moment. So I'm just going to enter these, all of these in here so you can see what would happen if you were tracking it year by year. Brute force just means you're going through the process step by step, piece by piece. So we'll do that. So this is after one year, and then that is going to be times in the second year, another 1 plus 0.18. We're adding another 18%. So 139.24. That's right here. 139.24. And after three years, it's times another 1 plus 0.18. 1 for the 100%, and we're adding 18% each time. 164.3032. 164.3032. And then after the fourth year, we do it again times 1 plus 0.18. And you can see it's really close to doubling. 193.88, let's say. That's the approximation. That's an important part. It's, it's an approximation. 190, sorry, 193.88. Now it's close to double. So to actually reach double, we can see here by brute force, we have to go another year, the fifth year. So it's 100 times 1 plus 0.18. To the fifth. Now it's going to go over doubling, right? So it happens somewhere in between, and we'll talk about how to find the exact moment in time when it does. One plus point one eight, and then enter two twenty eight point seven eight. So you can see it's gone over, right? Two twenty eight point seven eight. That's more than double of a hundred dollars. But the idea with brute force is that you can see that okay somewhere between the fourth and fifth years when this money will double and that kind of matches what we're saying here so in this case you would say between this is all we're at right now between 
four and five years because you don't want to start to plug in decimals until you get there. We want to look at a, a, a better way of solving this. All right, thanks.